that knows Pietro knows he is full of personality in a good way. Probably one of the most positive divers I've ever had. Never negative, always happy, always wants to train and work hard. He just has a grace about him that you don't see in too many men nowadays. Uh, just all his techniques are on point and then not to mention his degree of difficulty is really hard as well. Mark's a very humble guy, so he just doesn't think he's done a lot yet. And really, he's 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 made now a commitment that he wants to stay here and train through the 2020 Olympics. And we think he has a better shot of making the team than I think sometimes he thinks. And we think he might do well even better than just making the team. But uh, he's uh, success hasn't gone to his head. He's he's a he's 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 one of those really subdued Russian personalities, and he just kind of takes it all in stride. Pietro became our first postseason qualifier in D1 for GCU. He's qualified and now on two boards, the one meter and three meter, for the NCAA Zone Championships, which is then used as a qualifier into the NCAA Championships. That's because diving is inconsistent around the country, so they have to have these zone qualifying meets to make it a little more fair. Mark has qualified automatically into the NCAA Championships. He has the number one time in the country right now in the 100 backstroke. So he made what they call an NCAA cut that puts him into the meet. And because we had a relay that also went an automatic cut with Mark's individual time, that qualifies the relays into the meet. So we actually have three re relays qualified as well. I'm kind of tall for a diver, you know, usually people come from gymnastics and like, they're like small and they know how to flip. I've never done, I, I was never a gymnast. So like I didn't know how to do a backflip or anything like that. But it's cool that like I work really hard and I think because of that like I, I'm here today. I would say it's just it was my dream to study in the US and I think I'm the first person in uh, GCU history who, qual who qualified. This is our first official year in CAA so I'm the first person who qualified there as well as our three other guys from the relay. So it's me personally as a 100 backstroke and also the 200 medley relay. Tracy, my coach, she picked me up at the airport and she left me in my room. And no, no, none of my roommates were there. I just kind of sat down on my bed and I panicked for five minutes. I was like, I don't know anyone here. I don't speak English very well. Uh, my parents aren't here, like if something happens, what am I gonna do? So like, I panicked for like five minutes and I feel like a lot of people, especially international people, they, they feel that. Even like Americans, they're moving out from uh, their parents' home, they just feel that. But I was, then I met my roommates and I just calmed down, you know, I was like, let's just give it a shot, you know, like I'm here now, let's just try it. Oh, this is my favorite thing about swimming, the relays. It's the most exciting thing I've ever participated. It's, I, I like it a lot. But the only thing I don't really like, that's because I'm backstrokers, and backstrokers are first in the relay. <laughs> this is like a little bit more scary to be first in the relay than second or third or fourth. It's for me, I don't know. <laughs> it's amazing, like I come here to America, and like, I'm like, I have so many goals and one of them was to like, go to NCAAs and like, even if it's zones, it's something, you know, like I have a chance, you know, and that's just great. 